Hi, I'm the Global Runner and I'm here with the Nike Ultrafly and I'm going to be giving you my reasons why I'm going to be putting these back in the box and sending them back to Nike. So reason number one why I'm sending these back to Nike is the stability. I think these are not flexible enough to be a trail shoe. What you have here is a shoe with an ultra wide front platform. Now that's good, nice bit of stability on the trail. But if you remember, this has got a fly plate all the way along here. And the problem is that when you've got this wide stack of uh, forefoot, if you stand on a rock or anything like that, there's no lateral uh, softness, there's no uh, ability for this to flex at all. And so you stand on that, the whole rock plate is going to send you over. Add to that the fact that you've got a big stack of relatively rigid foam and this shoe is completely unstable. I'm really worried I'm going to roll my ankles anytime on a, I'm on any rocky ground or any rooty ground in these. I think what they should have done is they should have done something like the Tecton X. So Hawker had uh, a carbon fiber plate in here, but it was split down the middle. So you had a plate here and a plate here. And so if you stood on a rock there, it didn't throw the whole shoe off. The other thing that they could have done is make this foam a lot softer. Now I know this is Zoom X, but it's got this coating on it, which makes it quite firm for a Zoom X ride. So if you'd had a super soft foam, even if you'd stood on a rock there and you had the plate wanting to throw you off, if the foam was very forgiving, then it wouldn't have been a problem. It would have squished and you wouldn't have been thrown off. But this foam is actually quite firm and it just throws you off. So number one is the stability. I just think this is going to knock you all over the place. And I'm really worried when I'm running in it that I'm going to roll my already weak ankles. Number two, the second reason I'm saying the knees back to Nike, and this is a big one, they make my feet hurt. So the tops of my feet, when I run in these, I don't know if the ride is not responsive enough, too responsive, but I feel like I'm working against the carbon fiber plate. I feel like my feet are really forcing the carbon fiber plate so I don't know if I'm working against the plate or the plate is working against me but I really find that the tops of my feet in particular hurt when I've run in these shoes. I've also found that my calves have been hurting. I'm not going to blame the shoes for that. I think my calves hurt in most uh, plated shoes so I'm not going to blame the shoes for that one. So reason number two and the big one is the fact that these shoes make my feet hurt so they're going back the third reason that i'm sending these shoes back to nike is the price 357 canadian dollars when you include tax that's just way too much for a shoe that does nothing to wow me at all like if this was the world's best shoe even then i would balk at 357 dollars but this isn't the world's best shoe and it hurts my feet. I find it unstable. It just doesn't work as a trail shoe. And I've got to say it, but if you offered me any Nike trail shoe, I would take the Pegasus 4. I haven't tried the Wild Horse. I've tried the Zagama. I've tried this one. But if you offered me any Nike trail shoe, I'd take the Peg 4. They're just what a trail shoe should be other than they don't have this Vibram outsole. So Nike, please, in the future, can you give us the Pegasus Trail 4 with this outsole, and then you've got a winning trail shoe. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to mash the like button. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.